<laughs> they could be bigger and more immediate than the threat of global warming, they say. Earth's magnetic field, which acts as our protective shield in space, has a hole in it. And that could put a lot of our earthly functions at risk. Dr. Michio Kaku, professor and author of the book Physics of the Impossible, is back with us. Professor, how are you? And good morning to you. Glad to be on the show. Uh, thanks. Twice in one week, man. It's bonus hour. Mm -hmm. What is this solar shield? Well, every 11 years, the sun has a temper tantrum. It releases a shock wave, a tsunami of radiation that could wipe out communication, weather satellites, GPS, uh, spy satellites, you name it, it's up there in outer Ooh, space. So, you, so you're saying that my Blackberry won't work? The internet, box, television, uh, cable, satellite, TV, all of it could get wiped out around 2012. That's when we have the peak of the sunspot cycle. That's when the sun's magnetic field flips. North Pole and South Pole flip, releasing a shock wave of radiation, which will then hit the Earth minutes later potentially wiping out a good chunk of our satellite communications. We're watching it very carefully now. Well, doc, this happens how often, you say? Every 11 years. Well, However, why, why an 11-year cycle? It takes 11 years for the magnetic field of the sun to build up enough intensity to begin the flip process because it slowly uh, revolves in a circle. It's like winding up the windings of a clock. If you wind up the mainspring of a clock too much, it boing, boing, comes out of control. Same thing with the sun's magnetic field. It literally flips every 11 years, releasing a shock wave of radiation. And that means we have to start to think about reinforcing our satellites, building redundant systems, because it means that GPS, the power grid, weather satellites, communication satellites, satellite television, all of that could get disrupted, peaking around 2012. Well, so your point is we can't do anything about it in space, but we can do something back here on Earth. That's right. But ba backup systems, are companies really doing that? Well, they're going to have to do it because, see, we scientists made a mistake. We thought that the next cycle was going to be quiet. Well, some of our data was off by a factor of 20, and that's why we're issuing this alert now. We made a mistake. The next cycle, peaking around 2012, will be much more serious than we previously thought. Now, in the past, we dodged the bullet because we didn't have that many satellites up there 11, 22 years ago. Back in 1990, we didn't have that many space satellites. Well, that, that makes sense to me. But, you know, I'm listening to you talk. I'm thinking, why 2K? I'm thinking it's all just, it's just a tactic that put a lot of fear in a lot of people. It, it may have gotten us ready, but there was really no danger in the end. Well, let's hope that it's a dud. Let's hope that nothing happens. However, what if? What if our communication systems are wiping, wiped out? Billions of economic activity could be do you, think any, do you think anyone's taking this seriously? I think we're going to have to. The physicists are now sounding the alert. We made a mistake. We made the wrong projection. The next solar cycle will be more intense than previously thought. And an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Now's the time to begin to create redundant systems, reinforce our satellites, I got your build point. backup systems. All right. Michio Kaku, the word is out. You know, if you render my Blackberry useless, that's okay. I'm here loud. Do that for a while, and we'll bring it back. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Nice to know. Meg?